Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, May the 12th, 2021, and today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 93, Deuteronomy 11, 18 through 21, and Mark 16, 19 through 20. And I'm going to look at Deuteronomy 11, 18 through 21, and talk about blood and mezuzahs. Okay, so what's that all about? You remember when God delivered the people out of Egypt, delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt um, under Moses' leadership, and kind of in order to get them to that point, in order to get the Egyptians to really think that it was a good idea to kind of let these people go, um, there was a series of plagues. Because the Egyptians took a lot of convincing. They just didn't want to let all their free slave labor go. Uh, and so they had to be convinced that um, it would go better for them if they did that. The last plague, if you remember, because, you know, you've read the story, um, is the the angel of death being visited upon Egypt, on the whole land of Egypt, right? It wasn't just targeted to the Egyptians themselves. It was targeted to every firstborn um, in the land of Egypt, right? The death of the firstborn. Um, and God, though, provided a way for the people of Israel to uh, be passed over, to have the angel of death pass over them. And they were told to gather together to sacrifice a lamb and take the blood from that lamb and mark it on their doorposts and on their the doorframe, like the lintel, the part of the top of the doorframe, as a sign so that the angel of death would pass over their house. Now you know why it's called Passover. Um, and so this, this is the thing they did, and it was a sign to the angel that these were part of the people that God was trying to protect, to try, that he was delivering, and so that he would pass over. Well, now as they're, you know, they've come to the end here, and, and God's showing them the land and giving them his word and preparing them, um, he, he gives them the word, and he says to them this thing, uh, write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. So we have these two different signs that kind of work in two different ways. In, in Egypt, they had the blood on the doorposts as a sign that they were among the chosen people, but now they have the word of God, right? Not the word of God written on their doorposts and not just there. Um, he says, you know, write it on your foreheads and write it on your hands. Um, Teach these words to your children. You know, you'll bind them as a sign on your hand and fix them as an emblem on your forehead. So the sign of the people now is the word of God itself, this incredible, important instruction from God that, that is going to be the thing that identifies them and sets them apart. And to this day, if you have friends who are Jewish uh, and you visit their house, you might see something, a little box that's kind of, you know, bolted onto their doorframe called a mezuzah. And if you were really rude and open that up or kindly ask them, they might show you there's an actual little scroll, the law of God, the word of God on there. And sometimes if you see, um, if you see videos from like the wailing wall in Jerusalem, you'll see the devout Jewish people and they're worshiping at the wall and the men will have little boxes literally strapped to their heads and a leather strap around their arm with a box on it. And those are the tefillin, and they contain the word of God, um, taking it, it very literally. But it's an interesting thing that, that, you know, it's the word of God that marks the people. Now, that's the sign of the people so that they and their children will never forget the word of God and that it's an ever-present sign of who they are in the world and who they're supposed to be in the world. So that's kind of good advice for us, too, to take this word of God that we've been given because we have this great inheritance um, and to maybe not wear it literally in a box on your forehead or, you know, literally wrap it around your hand, or, but maybe to really write it on your heart and your mind uh, so that in your going in and your coming out, you become a sign of who God's people are. So anyway, that's the DBR for today. Go out, enjoy the day, and we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Ascension of Day, and so we'll be looking at that. So we'll see you later. Boop.